That's me, reaching the first summit of the Ixalpine mountain race on July 9th, 2016. And if I'm so happy, it's because I've been here a year before. And I knew at that point that I probably wouldn't finish the race. This time, it felt different. Hi, I'm an ultra marathon trail runner, and I would like to talk about the race I did this summer, the X-Alpine. I'm a lifelong runner, and for me, running is the best expression of freedom. And running in the mountains, with their open spaces and beauty, adds an extra dimension to that notion of freedom. It's just total freedom. And I love it. So the X-Alpine, as its name suggests, it's extremely alpine, which means it's really steep. It's run in the region of Verbier, in the Swiss Alps, and it goes over six peaks or passes. It is 115 kilometers long and it has a cumulative altitude gain of 8,800 meters, which basically means that at the end I will have climbed the equivalent of the Everest. So this is the profile of the race. This is the challenge. From Verbier back to Verbier and in between six peaks with altitudes between 1000 and 2800. This is where I stopped last year after 50k. Yeah I was very disappointed of course but um, it was the right decision not to go beyond that point. Running these distances is of course crazy, but one shouldn't be stupid and you must respect your body. It's a terrain that can be dangerous and you have to stay in control during the whole race, even if you suffer. It was the first time I didn't finish a trail race and I knew I would come back here and try again. It's Wednesday morning, we are two days before the race now. So in July this year, I went back to Verbier. I'm feeling well, my calf is still a bit dodgy. See you in Verbier. This time I knew what it would be. This time I knew what was waiting for me. I was ready for it. So as I was preparing myself for a few hours of sleep in my car, I could see the first summit. It was quite daunting, knowing what lied ahead. For the strength and honor. That morning I woke up at 3 o'clock to get myself ready for the start that was at 4 o'clock. So as I was preparing myself and walking towards the starting line, I had that weird thought that today and tomorrow I will run my longest distance ever.
That climb took me no less than 3 hours. But I was nowhere, of course. I'd only run 22 kilometers. I was now starting a very difficult descent, with gradients up to 28%. The sticks are very useful going downhill because it helps you preserve your knees and stabilizes your movements. So you try to go as fast as you can, but of course you have to be careful. As we were going down we could see on the other side the next mountain to climb. It was both beautiful and quite impressive. Down the valley I went through one of the food stations. It's nice to refill and to nibble something, but I tend not to spend too much time at the station. The climb of mountain number two is a very difficult one. It's very rocky. Most of the time you have to use your bare hands. But then, reaching the ridge at the top, the view is just breathtaking. At that point, my obsession was to reach the point where I stopped the year before. I just wanted to go further. And eventually, I did. I've been running for more than 13 hours now, and I'm climbing mountain number three. The night falls. It's about 10 o'clock in the evening and I have to put my headlamp on. Running through the night is both fascinating and quite monotone. The only thing you see is that 
beam uh, of light ahead of you. The night was very clear though, and at one point I couldn't help myself and turn off the light and admire the heavens. Something I've never experienced before was a strange feel of loneliness during the night. During the day you have all these messages coming in, family and friends supporting you. Then suddenly, around midnight, everyone goes to bed. No more messages, and you feel it. Then at 4.30 in the morning, as my oldest son was coming back from partying, he sent me a text. That felt good, it boosted me. Half an hour later, I was down the valley again. The day was breaking and I was starting my last climb. At that point, nothing would stop me from finishing. journey took me 28 hours 50 minutes. Total freedom. I just want to say this. If you fail, if you didn't succeed, come back, try again, you may surprise yourself. <laughs>